Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the Corps. We are at the Lawn Club Grill here aboard the Classic Celebrity Silhouette for round one of our Celebrity Burger Smackdown. The lunch menu is exclusively burgers. Well, I shouldn't say burgers. There is like a fish fish, fish sandwich or something like that. What is it? The uh, yellowfin? Oh, yellowfin tuna burger. Okay, so I guess it's a burger. So today, round one, we are going to start off with the Celebrity's Signature Burger. And then tomorrow, we are going to grab a burger from the Mass Grill, head into the buffet, and see if we can build something better. The cover charge for lunch is $35 plus gratuity. Uh, can we please stop this farce? Anyway, uh, dinner is $50, but I think there's a, a grill service and everything like that. So there is no a la carte, it's just uh, burgers and a salad bar. So I guess one price fits all. And so I don't botch it, and we can talk about something very important. The Celebrity Signature Burger is, oh boy, <laughs> well, brings uh, all the burgers, I guess, are eight ounces of signature dry aged ribeye blend with beef, brisket, and prime chuck and salad bar. The Celebrity Signature Burger comes with uh, port salut cheese, caramelized onions, roasted garlic aioli, arugula, roasted pork belly, and smoked onion brioche. Okay, well, we're already over a minute and a half into this, so let's get started. Included with lunch is a salad bar, although honestly it doesn't look that much different than the buffet, except here at least they have the real blue cheese dressing and not that like weird liquidy stuff. But if it takes a while, that's okay. Better they do it right than do it poorly or do it quickly, I suppose. And it does give me some time to start talking about something really, really important. So not really, I haven't really been hiding this and it's not really a secret, but I think it's finally time I just stated outright. I'm sure I'll feel a lot better afterwards. That is, um, I am no longer gay. Yeah, uh, uh, it, does, it does really feel good to say that. I, of course, some explanation is probably necessary. Salad first, the burger hopefully is on its way. Well, it's just a salad, but at least the dressing is right. At least that part is better than what's in the buffet. So yeah, I said it, I'm no longer gay. And actually, I haven't been for close to 10 years at this point. And I really don't miss it because, look, we all know the alphabet mob lately has gone absolutely Adam Schiff crazy. And I don't know what's going on. I, I did the video a couple weeks ago, but where I think things really went wrong, and like I said, it's partially my fault for leaving the movement, not having that stability around, but <laughs> yeah, a lot has been happening over the last 10 years that I don't really, I don't really like. Well, actually, they do have parts of Palm, which, okay, that's something special. Anyway, uh, so members of the court, if you haven't been, don't go. Pride has become basically a festival of indecency. Now, what used to be safely tucked away in the back room, in the dark, is now up on a parade float. What the hell, people? Here's the thing. Um, nobody should have to see this. And us normal homos, or normos, if you will, uh, we shouldn't have to answer it. But unfortunately, we have to all the time, and it's, it's frustrating. You know, for the salad bar, I would have expected like, like pre-made salads, like coleslaw, potato salad, bean salad, that kind of thing. But it, it really is just the same basic ingredients that they have at the buffet. So that I think is a, a little bit of a miss, but well, it allows me to segue. Next topic, I've talked about this before, but the corporate pandering, oh my God, stop already. People, they are using you, okay? They don't care. You're just a bunch of patsies. Uh, do we get rainbow colors in China or the Middle East? No, because it's bad for business, right? Now, granted, I, I have given them credit for realizing this and using it as a, a revenue opportunity, but seriously, they don't care, okay? It is literally all about the money. Wait, the olives aren't pitted, huh? Yeah, that was weirder than it should have been. Oh, and drag queen story hour. Why is this even a thing? Look, I have no problem with drag queens telling stories. They are great, great shows. 
I used to very much enjoy seeing them perform. At 11 p.m. and 1 a.m., 21 and over, two drink minimum, that kind of thing, uh, basically leave the kids alone. Okay, it's weird, it's creepy. Stop it. Here it is again, Celebrity's Signature Burger, and I did order the truffle fries. I didn't notice that on the menu. There's several choices. One was onion crisps, regular fries, wedge fries, and the truffle fries, of course. Had to get the truffle fries anyway. Yikes. Okay, this looks good, but that's not always what matters. All right, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do with the knife, so I guess let's have a sword in the stone moment. Although, yeah, I pretty much guarantee it's going to come out <laughs> without much effort. Oh, there we go. Yes, I am I am the one true leader, I guess. All right, um, what do I do with, with these now? Um, well, uh, we, oh, God. How about, we, how about we try and de-knife them without slicing our fingers open? That would be uh, a wise move. And, uh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, there we go go okay no trip to the infirmary today day's not over so let's okay no chickens they haven't hatched all right well let's uh, start with one of the uh the truffle fries mm. okay what they are nice and truffly it's usually a problem usually the the truffle is so light it might as well not even be there but okay oh and i like there's not a lot of them so definitely easy to eat the whole thing which, you know, don't feel like you have to, but, you know. All right, we are off to a good start. They are dusted with Parmesan, and this was not served with any sauces, and since that's the way Chef intends it, that's the way we are going to eat it, the fries. They don't really need anything, so I'm, I'm good to go on that one. But, oh, anyway, the thing is, the crazy thing about this is, the drag queens aren't the worst part of it. No, I mean, seriously. Uh, the worst, the craziest, the TikTok teachers. Oh my god. Why is this even a thing? And their dog fetish? Okay, that is just freaking weird. Stop it. Just stop it, okay? Again, leave the kids alone. Oh my god. Here's the thing. Uh, school is for one thing. I'm gonna do a Joe Bidenism right now. <laughs> Reading, writing, history, math, and sciences. That's it. Do your job and stick to the script. If you want a rainbow in your class, fine. It better be a lesson on refraction. All right, let's dig into this burger. Uh, okay, hmm. First, we gotta figure out how to pick it up. Uh, uh, well, here we go. Celebrity's signature burger. All right, uh, this is gonna be a mess. Okay. It's very good. It definitely has the higher level ingredients. The texture, you know what? That's the first thing I noticed is there is no texture gradient in here. It's pretty much all the same thing. It's all like mushy between the soft. Oh, the bread is the bread is perfect. It is soft, but uh, has a light toast to it. And then uh, the cheese. And then the patty, they all kind of like mush together. I think there should be something like a, something crispier on this. Maybe the bun should be toasted a little bit more. The flavors are great. Um, all very mild and subtle. The cheese is kind of powerful, but I like it. I do, I do. But can I do better? That's the question. Oh, well anyway, um, back to it. Here is a dirty little secret. <laughs> L G B T Q I A A plus plus whatever it is was never very tolerant and uh, was never really a community of L G B T. It was mostly a group of leftists who identified that way. It's one of the reasons the outfit keeps expanding because they keep identifying as different things and kind of glomming on, pushing well, again, pushing us out. And um, here's the thing. <laughs> I've always been conservative, I've always been a registered Republican and will remain, but now, as a very out and proud ultra MAGA, yeah, I never really belonged. And it was very, very clear. I've said this a lot of times before, but the only hate I have ever 
experienced in my life has been from these people. So, yeah, you know, they weren't very tolerant of me, and at this point, I'm just gonna say it, no longer very tolerant of them. Uh, but ooh, I am more than tolerating this burger. Mm. All right, the question I know everybody has, is the extra $10 make this worth it over the Arctic burger at SeaWorld? Yes, it, it does. This is, it's a stretch, but it's a $35 burger. That was not a $25 burger. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, just to make it very clear, if you've made it this far, um, gentlemen, <laughs> rest assured, ladies, you can stay disappointed. I'm sorry. I am still 100% homosexual. Yeah. Um, that I can't change. We are born this way, and honestly, I wouldn't want to change it. So, yeah, all I'm doing is rejecting and disassociating myself from the LGBT alphabet. Up. I don't even keep up with it anymore. And pretty much everything they stand for today, it is no longer something to be proud of. I wasn't even on board for the whole marriage debacle on that. I, well, what a disaster that was. Maybe I'll make another video about that. Anyway, I'm just a regular homo who does not want to be associated with the moral corruption and open predation that they actually advocate for now. They have become what we were all warned about. And um, yeah, weirdly, I guess Dr. Laura was right. I said this before about another gourmet burger. It could use a sauce, or did it have one? Because if it, if it did, it's very, very mild. Not anything overpowering, and that shouldn't be the focus of it, but something else. And yeah, there, there still really needs to be something crisper in here, like onion rings. Like, you know what? Instead of the um, sauteed onions, actual onion rings, like crispy onion rings. Put them in here. That would be, that would be amazing. So, yeah. Okay, there you go. Celebrity, just please, you know, it's free to use. I don't expect any licensing or anything like that. Just go ahead and make that change and I will be absolutely thrilled. So, well, anyway, uh, yeah, I am officially turning in and burning my gay card. I'm turning off the rainbow, but I am keeping some Pride merch just to troll the left. You've actually seen it. I've worn it to uh, the parks every now and then. I get uh, a lot of compliments from the right people, so I'm very, very happy with that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it. I no longer, well, I am no longer gay. No longer big G gay, as in L G B T. Just a little G, that's fine. Lexically, that works for me. They have created a bunch of problems that I'm not thankful for, but, well, this isn't the end, but I will just say it right now. Uh, I am so very thankful, and I can say this with absolute certainty, that we live in Florida and get great burgers like this on cruises from like five minutes from the house. That's it. I don't really feel like finishing it, mostly because I I should have gotten the onion rings. Here's the thing. The, the texture was way too consistent between like the burger and the, was well, not bacon, the pork belly and the fries. It was not very, okay, this is the thing. I'm not making a joke. It did not have a, the, the variety of mouthfeel wasn't there. And if it's too consistent, then it's just, I don't know, you kinda wanna stop eating it. No, that is something chefs actually do consider. I'm not making a joke. Anyway, so how does this compare? I like the Hudson Burger better, and that's complimentary. How does it compare to guys? Okay, the difference is not that great, and guys is complimentary. And uh, yeah, so that kind of tilts it in that favor. Uh, would I have, would I order this again? Okay, I should have gotten, I said, I should have gotten the onion rings. So that probably would have made a huge, huge difference. But okay, it was good. I'd say give it a try, but keep the texture in mind. It will be a much, much better experience. How will I do tomorrow? Ooh, well, you're gonna have to wait and find out. You will probably three or four days, so. The end of our experience here at Long Claw Grill is the fresh baked chocolate chip cookie with vanilla ice cream. Yes, this took about 10-15 uh, minutes to prepare, enough for 
Now the sun to move into a very uh, inconvenient position. You can see it is literally bubbling. The cookie is baked in this little uh, uh, dish. Okay, I'm not touching it. Well, that was pretty good. Definitely worth the wait. And yeah, don't touch the dish. It was, yeah, literally boiling. All right, it is time for me to head out. And I'll tell you all about it. Before we leave, I do want to point out the shockingly functional hand wash station. It is not big, but the ratios are almost perfect. This is, it is not that hard. This is, this works very, very well. So that's my experience at Lawn Club Grill. It was pretty good. I would say, give it a try. You never know, you might love it. But I found it, uh, well, you know what? I will, I will take this one because there were a couple of choices that I could have made that would have made it a lot better. And I'm so glad I was able to share this with you and get it off my chest about, well, basically going back in the closet, which I'm totally, totally fine with. Like I said, oh yeah, I said we should be thankful for living in Florida. We are thankful for living in Florida. And well, all this is going on is just another reason, a lot more reasons why everything is better in Florida. Oh.